I would like to start with a personal story. I've been trading a stock since my 20s. Uh, as an early adopter of cryptocurrency, a few years ago, I've decided to diversify my stock portfolio by investing more into the cryptocurrency. But it wasn't easy. There was a problem. First, I had to log into the platform, convert my asset, transfer to my bank account, and again, wire transfer back to the so-and-so cryptocurrency exchange that you know I used to have an account with. The whole process, it took me about seven to eight business days, and I had to pay a lot in fees and bank transfers. By the time that the money was in my account, the Bitcoin price was skyrocketing. So I simply lost the investment opportunity. If you compare the stock market size with the crypto asset market size, they're not even comparable. If you are talking about mass adoption of crypto markets, I, th I think it's important to merge these two traditional financial markets and crypto assets together. And that's exactly how the idea of Solo Genic was born. Solo Scrooge, sending peace and blessings to you all out there. Hashtag Solo Nation. How's it going, my people? Hope everyone's well. Appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're giving you updates on Solo Genic. Corium and XRP, hit the like button that helps push the channel through the analytics and helps the channel grow. So shout outs to Bob Russ. As we just heard there, that was Bob Russ speaking. And that clip was from over three years ago, back when Bob was back at Coinfield. But he says, bringing the crypto markets and the stock markets, merging them together, that's how Sologenic was born. So shout outs to Bob. He just put a he just put a thread out. Let's run through this thread. I know some of you have seen it, some of you haven't. Run over, we'll run over it quickly. So here's a thread on the institutional tokenization solutions revealed last week by Sologenic. Let's explore how the solutions can potentially drive the mass adoption of blockchain. But before we dive in, make sure to follow me on threads.net at Bob Russ. So Sologenic revolutionizes the DeFi finance landscape with the launch of Solonext and CBDC tokenization solutions, streamlining tokenization for institutions. These offerings are set to reshape financial markets. Excited to announce our strategic partnership with Fireblocks HQ. Check my other videos to go, to go through that. So number two, hashtag Solonext. An asset tokenization brokerage solution is set to change the financial landscape. It enables institutions to tokenize a wide array of assets, including stocks, ETFs, commodities, and real estate, and more. Three, Solonex is making decentralized finance more accessible than ever with 24-7 trading on demand asset tokenization, automatic dividends payout, fractional trading, and instant settlement leveraging the efficiency of the XRPL. Four, the custom-built CBDC tokenization solution is another step forward. It's a tokenization tool that can be added to the existing CBDC sandbox, meeting the diverse needs of financial institutions, government agencies, and private banks. So the custom-built CBDC tokenization solution is another step forward. It's a tokenization tool that can be added to the existing CBDC sandbox, meeting the diverse needs of financial institutions, government agencies, and private banks. Big. This is big, my people. Five, the integration with Fireblocks HQ enhances the institutional custody of blockchain-based assets. This strategic move is set to significantly boost the global adoption of Sologenics tokenization technology. Six, since the inception of Bitcoin, there hasn't been a very significant institutional adoption of blockchain due to the lack of practical and feasible solutions. Sologenic is filling this gap now with reliable institutional tokenization solutions. 7. 
Sologenics new business division, Institutional Strategic Partnerships is focused on providing these transformative solutions to financial institutions, government agencies and private banks. Hashtag stay tuned with to meet the team. Eight, the tokenization technology developed by Sologenic has potential beyond obtaining just a broker dealer license and launching securities and launching a securities trading platform. The goal is set the goal is to get the technology adopted by a broad range of financial institutions, which, uh, which will allow Sologenics technology to be utilised faster as these institutions already have broker-dealer licences issued. This is in parallel with Sologenics' own licence pilot programme launch. Excellent. Nine. This adoption will generate a much bigger potential for the Sologenic ecosystem growth while the solo tokens play a core role in the whole tokenization process, from settlement to gas fees. It's an exciting step towards the mass adoption. 10. The future is bright for Sologenic, with a, pl with a plethora of opportunities on the horizon. As we move forward as a community, we're embracing the dynamic world of technology. Only those who adapt and adjust will win. It's an exciting time as more institutions realise the massive potential of tokenization. This reaffirms that Sologenic had a great vision ahead of everyone else since the beginning. Let's continue to innovate and lead the way. 2023 is the year. Hashtag Solo Nation, hashtag Go Solo, hashtag Sologenic, hashtag Solo. Excellent thread from Bob Ross. So my people, shout out to my bro, Average John, XRP, give him a follow. He said, 16 hours ago, a solo, a hashtag solo, hashtag solo genetic community chat telegram was born. This chat empowers the voice of solo holders. You can be yourself and enjoy yourself. Right now, it has 100 real members. The number will reach about 500 to 1,000 within a short period of time. And he just posted, we're now at 250 members. Hashtag solo, hashtag solo nation. There's no reason to be slow about it. We should push to hit 500 members ASAP. No rule is saying that a bear market forces all projects to, go, to grow slowly. I want us all, I want us to grow quickly and faster than anyone else. So shout out to Average John. I'm going to put a link to the Telegram down below in the description. So check down below in the description for that, my people. So look, <clears throat> Scammer uses impersonated Ripple CTO handle to parade fake 100 million XRP airdrop. This is what's going on, my people. Look, look at this. David Schwartz Twitter impersonator uses the account to publicize a fake XRP airdrop claimed to be initiated by R Ripple CEO. Look, in a recent outcome, a scammer who has been pretending to be David Schwartz, Ripple's chief technology CTO on Twitter for years, on Twitter for years, recently used the impersonated Twitter handle to publicize a fake XRP airdrop campaign. The unidentified scammer, which aims to take advantage of unsuspecting users, claims the Ponzi-like campaign with a pool of 100 million XRP tokens is courtesy of Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse. This is crazy, my people. Look, are you listening to this? Are you seeing this? The scammer XRP, the scam XRP airdrop was announced in Friday in a Friday tweet together with the link to campaign to the campaign website. Look at this. David Joe Cat Schwartz. Look. Look. At Joe Kaz. This is crazy. Look, look at these people. And if you weren't paying attention, you would think this is David Schwartz for real. Look, you have to be vigilant. You have to be vigilant. Look, Ripple has come a long way in the past year and we couldn't do it without you. XRP continues to be a key player in the blockchain ecosystem. And in 2023, we will be dedicating even more resources to make XRP and RippleNet easier to use and more accessible. Oh my gosh. These people, you know, these people are unbelievable. Look at this. There's, there's no lengths that these scammers won't go. <laughs> this is crazy. 
people be careful look live xrp huge airdrop event if you see this my people it's a scam don't get scammed these scammers don't let them get you man look fake xrp airdrop campaign look the trick star who went as far as impersonating the ripple ceo on medium said the airdrop will not end until all xrp tokens in the reward pool are dispersed it's crazy to celebrate the global power of xrp we are provide we are proud to be initiating yeah notably the campaign is designed as a ponzi scheme it requires that users send any amount of xrp tokens to the designated wallet with the promise of repaying participants with a thousand percent of the amount sent in other words if a user sends 100 xrp to the wallet a thousand xrp will be returned as a reward but first participant participants must verify this their address by sending between 1,000 to 300,000 XRP. Look at this, my people. Look, but first participants must verify their address by sending between 1,000 to 300,000 XRP to the signed campaign wallet, according to the announcement. This adopted adopted strategy clarifies that the campaign may not be an authentic airdrop, but rather a means to defraud naive users. But as shown on the website. 55,763,443 XRP has been reportedly dispersed at the time of writing with 44,233,557 XRP tokens remaining in the pool uh, this is mad look so that means that means people have set already sent between 1,000 to 200 to 300,000 XRP because you know it's, they've distributed they've dispersed xrp but to where though this is all a scam my people i'm never going over this no more just look out beware look this is not david schwartz this is not the real david schwartz and this is not a real airdrop so moving on we got we've got anthony welfare and anthony welfare is cbdc advisor at ripple and he posted, hashtag CBDCs are gaining traction globally and Ripple CBDC team are focusing in on real world use cases for a CBDC or hashtag stablecoin. Last week, I shared two real use cases at a CEE fintech conference in Romania. Hashtag tokenization is the future of real estate. The pilot combines the hypothetical, the hypothetical, hypothetical EHKD tokenized real estate and finance lending protocols sorry and allows users to tokenize real estate as collateral for loans the solution will leverage ripple cbdc platform a secure private permissioned ledger corium tweeted the corium foundation has a third governance proposal set to increase the active validator set from 40 to 48 The gradual increase preserves network performance while mitigating potential risks that may impact through impact throughput and block time. All Corium holders can vote using their wallets. So crypto bubbles, Solana up 7.9%, Avalanche up 6.5%. Bitcoin cash down 4%. So the markets, the markets are ranging, but a lot of these, a lot of these altcoins, they're going up, they're coming back down. Then they're going back up to where they went, coming back down. They're ranging. So we've got to see how the market plays out. Bitcoin went below 30k the other day. Got to see how the, how it plays out. Liquidation heat map for the traders. Total liquidations: twenty-seven million, twenty-seven point nine three million dollars wrecked. Twelve point five four million of those that went long, and fifteen point three nine million of those that went short. So my people, I appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Solo Scrooge with the Solo News. I catch you on the next one. Peace.